It's Wednesday, August 6th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Nigerian authorities have promised to investigate allegations that members of the country's security forces have committed atrocities against the Islamist militants they hunt. Amnesty International has released a report claiming Nigerian troops and militia have forced alleged members of Boko Haram to dig their own graves before slitting their throats. The group has terrorized civilians across Nigeria for the last five years with shootings, bomb attacks and kidnappings. Most notoriously, the abduction of nearly 300 schoolgirls in the Northeast this past April. Lebanese forces and Islamist militants have agreed to stop fighting on the Syrian border for 24 hours. Members of the Islamic State released three policemen on Tuesday to allow clerics to broker a deal to end several days of clashes, but 22 troops and policemen are still missing. Fighters of the group, which used to call itself ISIS, took the border town of Varsal over the weekend, alongside members of the Al-Qaeda-linked Nusra Front. It isn't the first time Lebanon has had to manage a spillover of the Syrian conflict into its territory, but this latest violence is the worst yet in the three-and-a-half-year war. (laughs) Government officials of Azerbaijan and Armenia are blaming each other for the recent eruption of fighting in a disputed territory. Clashes in the ethnic Armenian enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh have caused casualties on both sides in the past week. Between 1998 and 1994, the region was fraught with violence that killed tens of thousands of people. And though it still technically sits within Azerbaijan's borders, it has been under Armenian control since a ceasefire two decades ago. But the suggestion that Russia's annexation of Crimea earlier this year sets a model for Armenia to follow suit is causing the tension to swell. And the presidents of both countries are set to meet sometime this week to discuss a resolution to the conflict. Scientists may have figured out why a massive crater suddenly appeared in Siberia. Russian researchers traveled to the site of the crater in the Yamal Peninsula last month. They say warmer-than-usual temperatures the last two summers may have caused the release of a high concentration of methane gas in the frozen ground, which ultimately collapsed it. The findings are preliminary, and although difficult, the next task of measuring exactly how much methane lies within the crater's walls could reveal what impact its release has on the environment. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world.